because that I've used that adage more than once. This too shall pass. This is a human experience. This too shall pass, no matter what it is. The light of God will always be present for all of us, for each and every one of us. And so reaching out, reaching out, or reaching in to God. We are wired. Do you know that we are really wired to experience a relationship with a higher power? We are wired. That's why when we hear truth spoken, it resonates within us. So most of us, not all of us, but most of us, will eventually reach out. We'll eventually say, I of myself can do nothing. I of myself can do nothing. I surrender. Jesus, the way shower, showed us the way on the cross when he said, this is according to the Lamb's of Bible translation, into thy hands I commit my spirit. Into thy hands I commit my spirit. With those words, a powerful shift of consciousness occurs. And the dawn of hope, we're moving into that second step, the dawn of hope occurs. But before it can occur, there must be a resurrection into the new day. So we move into the dawn of the new day. In the Gospel of Matthew, chapter 28, we are told, in the evening of the Sabbath, when the first day of the week began to dawn, there came Mary of Magdala and the other Mary to see the tomb. The scripture tells us, at least in Mark and Luke, that they came with spices to anoint the body. Now I certainly know that, I don't know what was going on in their minds, but it, it does occur to me that they might have expected a miracle right there to see the body of Jesus. But they had a glimmer of hope. A glimmer of hope. Just remember that, a glimmer of hope. And so I don't think it's unreasonable to, to think that a miracle could not have occurred. But that glimmer of hope is needed to deepen to the experience of the dawn, the new beginning. Someone that I know had an explanation of his wife's suicide and his subsequent deep, deep depression over it. He described his depression as being in this dark, dark room. Dark, dark room. And while he was in it, he could understand why his wife would have committed suicide because of this darkness was so unbearable. But he happened to see under the crack of the door a glimmer of light. That glimmer of light gave him hope. It gave him that little bit more that he could move through this while his wife did not see that glimmer of hope. She was just in the darkness. And even though this man was not particularly religious, I know that that, that glimmer of light that, that he saw under that door was the light of God shining for him, waiting for him to recognize it. And I want to say to anyone here this morning who feels trapped in the darkness, who does not see that shaft of light that is under the door, this is a spiritual community that is here for each one. And we have practitioners who have been trained, trained for many, many years to see this light within you. And so I would say, if you are in that place, see a practitioner afterwards, get prayer, or schedule an appointment with them, because practitioners can see the light of God within you until you can see it for yourself. They will hold it for you. And then, when you're able to move into that, that openness to receive the light of God, then you are healed. You are healed. And as, as my friend explained, he knew he would be okay when he saw that, that light, that little bit of light that was under the door. His dawn of hope had arrived. The dawn of hope does arrive for all of us if we let it, if we are willing to trust, even though we do not see the visible signs 
or feel the presence of spirit reflecting in our life. There are times when that is so heavy that we cannot feel the presence of spirit. And I, I talk about even in a dark, cloudy day, the sun is always shining. It's shining, that's a fact. And it's the same with God. God is always present. The light of God is always present. But when we're in the darkness, we sometimes can't feel it. And in that disconnect, in that disconnect, then, we stay in that, that realm of darkness. But, but as we reach out, as, as the adage, as the, um, the saying said, as we take one step toward God, God comes running for us. So we just have to be a little willing, a little open, a little receptive, and that good of God will fill your experiences absolutely. The dawn of hope does arise for all of us if we let it, if we trust it. So finally we move into